Hi everyone, this video will focus on goat powder brushes. I'll start off with the Hakuhodo J14 right here. This is labeled as their standard powder brush. This brush is made out of psychoho hair and is very soft. Although the hairs may look long, I consider it a suitable length because the brush is still dense enough to not be floppy. So if you can see here, I'll show you. It's got nice flex to it as well. Then I will twirl it, go like this, it's kind of out of focus, sorry about that. I love Hakuhodo Psychoho, it's one of the best out in the market. Of course, Tanseido and Koyo will also have exquisite Psychoho, but they are higher priced. This is an excellent brush for setting and finishing powder. It's my favorite Psychoho powder brush. Next, we have the Hakuhodo J513, it's this one right here. This is another Psychoho brush that's soft. It's angled so it'll allow you to get into the smaller areas of the face. For some reason, it costs more than the J104 even though there's probably more hair in the J104. So if you can see, this is a rounded brush and this is flat and angled. Turn this around right here. I actually use this brush for bronzer because it gives a perfectly natural bronzer application with my Tom Ford bronzer. It picks up just the right amount of powder and distributes it, it evenly onto the face. If you're like me and aren't too fond of angled face brushes, do try this one out with bronzer. You will be pleasantly surprised. Shake this. Medium density. I do also want to mention that the J104 is the American length, while the J531 is the Japanese handle length. You can special order the Japanese handle lengths along with the champagne handles from the Hakuhodo website as well as purchase them in Japan. Another favorite is the Hakuhodo Koktan JMG. The Koktan handles are my favorite from Hakuhodo. This is a brush that has a nice weight to it, so it's made out of ebony. This brush has a nice weight to it and is made out of a combination of psychoho hair and 2-3% to synthetic hairs. The salesperson I was talking to at the sales room said that they mix synthetic hairs in it to help maintain its shape. I didn't think I would love this brush as much as I do, but um, I actually really like it because even though it's not as soft as brushes that are made completely out of psychoho hair. So for example, these two are made completely out of psychoho hair, the J104 and the J531. This is actually a workhorse as well. You can use this pretty much every day with powder and like any type of powder and it'll work really well. So setting and finishing powder. It's uh, It also makes the top of my goat powder brush list. Here's the Hakuhodo S104. This is the discontinued dyed version of the J104. So if you can compare it, they have the same exact heads, different handles, and different hair colorings. So this is dyed and this is undyed. They have the same heads. This brush has the signature vermilion handle and is just a little bit less soft than the undyed counterpart. I was surprised when I got it because I wasn't expecting it to be this soft. It's really soft for dyed hair. This is the Hakuhodo White Fan Brush. This is also made out of Psychoho hair. The softness is the same as the other Psychoho powder brushes. This shape allows you to use it for blush, bronzer, contour and powder, you can use it for basically anything. It's truly a multifunctional brush that would also be great for traveling. You can see this. Swipe, swipe, swipe. Next we have the Koyomo powder brush. This is made out of ancient goat hair from the 1970s. This brush is made from Haku Ototsuho, which is comparable to Sokoho and Tankoho. Except these hairs feel as soft as Saikoho because 
they are ancient goat hair. The brush shape is similar to the J104 from Hakuhodo, but it's smaller overall and less dense. It's more flexible due to the lack of hairs. It has one compared to the J104. I would deem this as a floppy brush and it's not my type of brush due to the floppiness. So I want to just compare the two. You can see the shape is very similar. And the J104 is denser. A little larger. Here's the Wang Goss Double Zero. This is the same as the Hakuhodo J103 except completely made out of Psycho hair while the J103 has synthetics mixed into it. This is a tulip powder brush. So if you can see from here, it's, it's hard to see because it's white, but it has a tulip shape, candle, stick shape, whatever you want to call it. It's tapered, it's very tapered at the top. I imagine it would work well for bronzer, but I haven't tried it with that. I've experimented with plenty powder brushes and I've figured out that I don't like these type of brushes overall. Here's the Wayne Goss Double Zero. This is the Wayne Goss 13. This tea dyed version of the Hakuhodo J210 is one of the softest dyed goat brushes I own. I don't know how they managed to make a dyed brush this soft, but it's heavenly. The shape is a perfect pom-pom shape and it will work wonderfully with small powders. This is the Chikuhodo T2 from the Takumi collection. It's an angled brush made out of Saikoho hair and it's medium sized. It also allows you to work into smaller areas of the face due to the angle. Compared to the Hakuhodo J531, it's smaller but looks a little denser. So I will show I'll try to show you here. Here is the 531, here's the T2. This is the Chikuhodo 2015 Noel Rose Angled Powder Brush. I don't usually like dyed goat brushes, but this is as soft as the T2 and around the same size. I think I like this one more than the T2 actually. It's my favorite brush from the Rose set too. Here's the Noel Rose powder brush. And here is the T2. I feel like the Noel is more flexible than the T2, even though they're around the same shape and size. I think the T2 is probably a little bit smaller though and less flexible. This is the Koyudo BP06. This is a Psycho brush that is less soft and has longer hairs than the J104 from Hakuhoda. This is less dense than the J104 too, so it's more airy and is recommended for finishing powders. Twirl and then show you the... If the J104 were an 8 in terms of softness, this one would probably be a 6.5. So if you can... If I can compare them here... This one has longer hairs. Also, this one I used so, and this one's washed, so obviously this one's gonna look dirty. This is the Koyudo Fua Fua. This is a Psycho brush with three types of wood on it, and it's not the softest Psycho hair I felt. The head is wide, and it's not as densely packed as some of the other brushes I'll be discussing after this, which means it would work best for powders. I've tried this with liquid and cream foundations and tinted moisturizers, and it didn't work well. Uh, I know it's a lot of people's favorites, but not mine. The selling point is the handle, and to me, a brush isn't just a pretty handle. Go. Show it. Here is the Koyudo LMPG. 
This is made out of tankoho hair and it's now discontinued but you can find the same exact shape through the Fupa one. The ferrules are different colors but, but that's the only difference. This is another favorite of mine because it can apply liquids, creams, and powders without any issues. There's no streakiness or cakiness when I use this for all stages of foundation, which is why I love it so much. I highly recommend this. It is quite a dense brush. Here's the Koyuro Macaron. This is made out of baby goat hair. They don't specify what part of the goat it is, it is, but it's baby goat hair. And this is a soft brush despite its looks. The head surface is wide and dense. So if you, as you can see, it's very wide and very dense. It applies powder evenly and non-cakey despite, despite its denseness. Here's the side view. The macaron is more decoration to me than anything, but it's, at least it's useful. Did I even do it with the macaron? This is the Koyudo Kumamon brush. This, it's a flat top powder brush made out of soft soko hairs. This is easily my favorite when, when compared with the Macron. Powder application looks flawless with this little guy. The hairs are a little longer than the Macron. You can see on the side. And let me just compare it. I think it's hard to see, so you can see like this. Koyudo Kumamon. This is the Hokodo BZ1. The same exact head as the Koyudo LMPG, except it's made out of soko hair. I actually can't tell the difference between the two when touched. I think the LMPG is a little denser, so let me grab the LMPG to show you. So, BZ1, LMPG. And as you can tell, I use this one and I wash this one. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!